Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Alex World General Hospital. This hospital is newly finished and will soon be open to serve the city of Southeast Melchizedek. This will be the future waiting room for radiology and nuclear medicine. So we're going to go ahead and start in the emergency department actually because this is the entrance where people will most likely enter. And then of course through those doors is the women's breast center. Over here that building is mostly medical office buildings. Through here is the pediatric emergency department, which is basically for patients 12, I mean 18, I mean 17 and under. This is the regular adult emergency. And this is also just a waiting area. So most patients that walk in will most likely be serviced here. Now this waiting room is pretty small for a large hospital. But of course, the goal is to try to get people triaged and into the emergency department as quickly as possible. These are two triage, what will future be triage rules. So the style of emergency department that is used here is podular style. So all of these emergency departments function as types of pods and they will all serve different purposes. Ambulances will park back here and patients will enter the hospital through the ambulance entrance. Usually they'll be assessed and they will be taken to one of these rooms here. Each of these pods have a total about of about 10 treatment rooms. So the triage level will usually determine where and how a patient will be treated. Over here is the pediatric section. And let's go through here. So this is the main hallway. So this hallway connects a few different departments. Here is radiology. This will be a radiology room. This will be an x-ray room. And as you go out here, these are offices for billing. So these are your registration offices, patient registration, patient records. All of that stuff is handled here. Finance is behind this glass wall right here. So this is where most of it is just an office environment for the hospital. Typical cubicles. But these are all of the hospital's um, offices. Through this door, you have the remainder of the radiology department. And a lot of it is going to be for mammograms, women's breast center type stuff. So now we're going to head down here. Down this hallway, you will find all of the sterile services. So all of the linens, dishes, anything in the hospital that needs to be cleaned will be cleaned on this hallway here. So in here will be the sterile services for culinary services. In here is where clean linen is stored. In here is where the dishes are cleaned. While in here is the laundry mat, so anything in the hospital that needs washed will be washed up. Down this hallway is spiritual services. So here we are in the chapel. This is the chapel. And this is the offices for the chapel.
So now let's go ahead and head upstairs to the second floor. The second floor consists of surgery and also the remainder of the emergency department. Emergency department is stacked. It's two floors. So this, let's start with the surgical services. So all of these are surgery prep rooms. This is where patients are taken to prepare for surgery. And then back here is where you will start to see the operating theaters. This is where all surgical supplies are kept for the various operating theaters. This just goes back to that hallway where we were just a few moments ago. And this is a operating theater. So once a patient is finished with their surgery, normally they will be taken down this hallway, which is the area where patients are taken to recover from the anesthesia. Sometimes they may be placed in one of these observation rooms, but most of the time patients recovered from anesthesia will be in the step down unit this is where they are effectively managed elevators will be installed here and these go up to the floors some patients may be discharged the same day after surgery some may have to stay the night in the hospital upstairs back here is just the access back to the emergency department. So up here is the second floor of the emergency department. Now, over here is a medical services building. So nothing more than what the main hospital is, act, is doing. But yeah, that's where it is back there. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the intensive care unit. Take a look over this view for a minute. That's a train station that's been the station tour. Here we are on the intensive care unit. So these are what your rooms will typically look like in the ICU. It's a restroom. Nurses station. And then from here on, the rest of the hospital will start to look pretty much the same. Let's just assume elevators are here and we could actually go upstairs. We are going to go up to this level. Now, the reason why I want to show you this level is because... On this level, this is the jail ward. So any, this is what we call the medical detention center. So any person that's currently in police custody from any of the metro jails, they will typically brought, be brought here to the jail ward. And this is what a room on the jail ward looks like.
Now, this floor will also hold the psychiatric ward as well. This is the atrium for the hospital. So all five of the floors you see here are, in fact, patient room floors. This hospital has a total of 600 beds. And again, is designed to serve pretty much all of most, the vast majority, because you have another hospital in the area too, and that one is called Emory Dooley County Hospital. It's nearby. This hospital mainly serves the city of Alex World. Then this is your typical patient care floor. This is where the nursing station is going to be. Over there, that's just your parking and other buildings. So now that you have seen the main hospital, let's take a look at the medical office building that's across the street. But first, let's go to the basement. So this is where the morgue is going to be. This is the hospital kitchen. As you can see, it's all healthy food on the menu. Security, that's the nutrition office. That there is a pharmacy. Elevator control room. Stuff you typically find in basements. That's a classroom. This is going to be the hospital library. And then through here is nuclear, where the nuclear medicine suite is going to go. Again, Alex World Hospital is still under construction on the inside we just finished the exterior buildings so now let's go all the way up to where we are going to head into the medical office building As you can see, there is Vanderbilt Park Station. This hospital is um, on a university campus. So a lot of these brick buildings are not part of the hospital. So let's take a look inside one of the offices. So just your stereotypical doctor's office building. And each one of these, they look the same on every floor. But this building is meant to house a total of... This building is pretty much meant to house a total of 60 different specialties. So it's a pretty large building. Over there is the Alex World Avenue Transit Station. With the Alex World Light Metro sitting on top. And you get nice views from here. That brown building over there, which we're actually headed to next. The reason why we're doing it from the outside is primarily because that really is the only way you can obtain access to that building. 
And we're going to go ahead and cut across the football field here so that we can get over there a lot faster. So this is the behavioral health complex for Vanderbilt and it is located on the Alex World State University campus which is also a subsidiary of the Alex World General Hospital. So this is a private behavioral health hospital. To entrance Conference rooms are going to go here. Patient admissions will also be conducted here. And then, when it is time for patient admission or discharge, they will be led through here. All of these units are a part of this behavioral health hospital. So this green space connects all of the units. Now the entire since the entire compound is enclosed. First we're going to take a look at the gym that is available. So it's a pretty decent sized gym. Right here. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the cafeteria where we will end the tour on a patient housing unit so here is where the cafeteria is going to be the kitchen and everything will be back there now we get to the end of the tour patient unit it's an entrance and then it's a nice open area patients will be out here yeah and here's a patient room all rooms come with two beds there's a bathroom and then these are group rooms as well. Group therapy. There are group rooms for group therapy. And I'm going to go ahead and end the tour in what will be known as medication management rooms. All right. Well, thank you for joining us on the tour of the Alex World General Hospital. Have a wonderful day.